Hello again, and welcome to our second online class. Today, we will review and remember some of the elements of our unit. I hope that, up to now, everything is clear and that all the materials have been relevant to you. This is our agenda. We will review the key concept, the related concepts, the global context, the inquiry questions, and finally, you will have some reflection questions about the process up to now. In this way, you will be prepared for the upcoming task. Let's begin with the first concept, culture. According to what we have discussed in class, and the main orientation of the IB materials, culture encompasses a range of learned and shared beliefs, values, interests, attitudes, products, ways of knowing, and patterns of behavior created by human communities. The concept of culture is dynamic and organic. Pay special attention to this word dynamic. Dynamic, according to the Cambridge Dictionary, means continuously changing or developing. Don't forget about it, as it will serve as the basis for a further activity. We have already looked at this concept thoroughly in the previous class. However, it's good to remember that it is related to going beyond what is first or apparent, or to what we call to read between the lines. We have already practiced making inferences from pictures or little texts, and we'll be practicing this a lot more before we get to our summative task. Make sure that you check the feedback done by the teacher, and once again, remember, practice makes perfect. This is our second related concept, point of view. It is the particular perspective brought by a composer, responder, or character within a text, to the text, or to matters within the text. It also entails the position or vantage point from which the events of a story seem to be observed and presented to us. When exploring this concept, students will, for example, consider positioning voice and tone. In this case, the word vantage or vantage point, according to the Cambridge Dictionary, is a place, especially a high place, that provides a good, clear view of an area. So, pay attention to this related concept and its meaning because it will also be part of the little reflection that you have to make at the end of this short review of the unit. So now we have come to the global context. And the global context, as we all know, is the field in which all the key concepts and related concepts operate. In this case, as we have already explained before, our global context is related to scientific and technical innovation. In this case, we are going to concentrate more on the impact of scientific and technological advances on society and on the environment, and more specifically related to artificial intelligence, which is within the field of digital life, virtual environments, and the information age, its consequences and how we have to deal with them responsibly. But how all these concepts and elements connect? We connect them through our statement of inquiry, which is our goal, to infer from different cultures how technology is used. In other words, to guess the use that different cultures give to technology according to their beliefs and shared values. In order to do that, we will use two skills. Critical thinking skills to interpret data, which in this case is our evidence, 
and we will also use a media literacy skill. This skill will be explained in another slide. So, let's now break our statement of inquiry in little pieces. That are our inquiry questions. And we have three types of them. As you all know, the factual, which is like the obvious questions, the conceptual, that is related to processes, and the debatable question. This is the one that makes us think a lot, and the one which answer is actually a debate. Here we have them. In the factual we have what's an inference, what are some of the new surprising technological improvements in different countries, what are the positive and negative consequences of the use of digital technology in different cultures and age groups. Then, in the conceptual question, we have how is an inference process carried out? And finally, in our debatable question, we have does culture influence the use of technology or technology influences cultural changes? Also, reflect a bit about these questions now. Which ones have we already answered? Okay, but how are we going to evidence that we have carried out all this process? With a product that will be a blog. In this blog, you will have to write analysis of a text, a video, and a cartoon. All of them related to technology. Here, and with this tool, we will exercise the skill of research, media literacy skills, interacting with media to use and create ideas and information. Now, please take a look at the following questions. This is a reflection about all the elements in the unit itself. You will have to write this in the next step of this lesson. Don't worry about copying them now. I will write them again in the task. Make sure that your answers are complete and show reflection. These are the questions. Which of the inquiry questions have we already answered? When and why? In this question, you're going to refer to what we have done to answer any of those questions. Why do you think that the concept of culture is dynamic? Okay, this is a key word. And how can we link this to the global context of scientific and technical innovation? And please provide an explanation for that. How are the key concept culture and the related concept point of view connected? Remember to explain all. What attributes do you think that you need to put into practice to understand the statement of inquiry better in the current situation and it is in the situation of the quarantine? For example, well, I need to be principled because I need to do um, all my tasks on my own and so on, all right? Uh, how do you feel in this situation? How do you imagine the end of this, this situation? And by this I mean the quarantine, okay? This last question is only that I want to know how you're feeling uh, and how you infer that the end of the situation will be. As I already said, this task you will answer in the next activity. Thanks again! It was a pleasure for me being with you this time. Remember to stay home and stay safe. If you have any question, don't hesitate to contact me via email or edusoft. But most of all, keep up the good work. We are doing it excellent. I will see you soon.